I'm Tom Burke, and with Michael Foley, we are the No Two Gays About It, and it's time for the Savage Side Eye. This is one of our favorite moments when Michael and or I get to throw a little shade, a little side eye to something, someone, anything that's kind of bugging us. And today, Michael, I'm taking the reins. I've got Ooh. a savage side eye I need to share with everybody. But... It's a really personal one, so it's kind of, it might be a little tough for me to do, but I feel like I need to do this, especially our audience is so amazing, and they are sharing all of their hopes and joys and fears with us, so I thought, you know what, I got to share as well. All right, um, we got you. We, it's, this is a trust fall, so let's let's do good, it. Good, thanks. And also, you got to stay with me, because it's this very long, involved thing by the time I get there. Okay. Um, and... I'm afraid that there's going to be a lot of gay men out there that are very unhappy with me, uh, with this. <laughs> but anyway, all right. I was watching a show on Netflix called Baby Reindeer. Did you see that? I did. Yeah. So my side eye is not going to the Baby Reindeer. It was a great show. It was crazy, crazy, crazy. Uh, it was, uh, what was his name? Richard Gadd, who wrote it about being stalked by this woman. And if you've been listening to our show, you have heard that I have had plenty of my stalkers uh, starting from that first week I went to college and had lots of restraining orders uh, throughout my youth. Again, I'm not throwing my side eye at stalkers. You do you. Um, but I was watching this show and there were three moments during the show that I was as the young people say, triggered. And I have never liked the word triggered. I think people throw it around a lot because everyone wants to be a victim and, uh, you know, poor me, I'm being triggered by what you're saying or whatever. You know, when we were younger, we weren't triggered. We just, you know, got pissed off or something bothered us or we felt uncomfortable. But I don't know. Did you ever use the word triggered when you were younger? No, and I don't use it now. Yeah, uh, I, I, just, just because it's 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 one of those buzzwords that seems to yeah. be you know in the moment, and I, I've never it's just, right. If I'm pissed, I'm pissed, like you said, and you you deal with it and you move on. Yeah, I feel exactly the same. However, as I said, I was watching this show, and three distinct moments, I finally felt being triggered. Okay, mainly because it was bringing back moments where I was a victim. Um, I don't know if we have to really go into the actual moments, but uh, when I was younger, um, I did have a number of things happen to me. And it, it was older gay men who felt that they could take advantage of the younger gay male who could um, use their power you know, dangle something over our heads. Uh, you know, it happened a lot. Uh, but luckily, I was a very intelligent uh, guy. I I didn't fall into those ropes, or not ropes, into those traps. But again, there were a few moments that uh, I was victimized. And um, as I was saying, watching this baby reindeer, there were things happened where I stood up and was just like, Oh my God. Oh my God. Like it just hit me so hard. And I had to like really take a moment and figure out where this was coming from. What, you know, obviously it, you know, if you watch Baby Reindeer, there were moments like when he woke up and he had dried saliva on his private area. That happened to me once, right? Uh, or when this older gay man was dangling something in front of his head saying, do this for me. And I'll, you know, <sighs> again, I just felt so uncomfortable that that trauma was brought right back to the forefront in my head. And so here goes, guys. I apologize for this. Well, I don't really, actually. Um, I'm sending my savage side eye out to a lot of those older gay men who feel that they can take advantage of the younger guys who can 
use their power or their money or their status to dangle in front of somebody's head to get them to do certain things. Um, I see it still to this day, and it so makes me so uncomfortable. But here's what I want to say, because, you know, when I do see something like that happening, and, and yes, there are a lot of younger gay men out there who are willing to do all kinds of things for money, status, jobs, whatever it is, right? But there are a number of men like myself who weren't willing to do it, who, you know, when no means no, or, you know, that uncomfortable look and, you know, whatever position of the body is like, don't, no, don't touch me. You know, to all of those older gay men out there, really, you know, I just want you to think about what you're going to do before you actually do it. Because here I am, I am 63 years old. I have had a really successful life. I have ha been successful um, professionally, financially, personally, both with my husband, a really long, great relationship with my husband and with friends. And yet, 40 years later, that trauma is still circling around in my head. So for someone who is really successful to still carry that toxic tragedy or whatever that happened to me, I don't think you guys are really aware of of what you're doing or how you're really affecting these younger guys. So please, gentlemen, I'm sending you a savage side eye and I am asking you to please think before you act. And don't, just because you are powerful or have more money or have, you know, jobs or whatever, it doesn't mean you can take advantage of somebody else. You know, no means no. Yeah, um, I'm genuinely sorry you felt all that. And what I'm even more sorry for is I don't believe that these people who use that power care. I just don't because, um, like you, I'd been in that situation as well and run, have yeah. run across people later in my life and they're playing the same game. With sure. The, and... You know, I think that would take a massive amount of introspection on their part. Um, and I, I I, just sadly don't see that happening for a lot of guys. Right. Um, maybe at some point, you know, it will and they will have a look inside as opposed to, uh, you know, attempting to manipulate and control people. Uh, but sadly, you know, this is a tale as old as time. It's, it's, it's always been yeah. there. And sadly, I think it will be because it's in the straight world as well. Oh, it's, yeah, I mean, you know, it's across the board. It's in corporate America. It's 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 just it's just the way right. human beings who are so damaged feel that they have the right to attempt to damage right. or control other people. I, I totally agree with that, and I know that it will continue to go on. But maybe just by speaking like this, yeah, one person will be like huh, if that guy is still, you know, affected by this 40 years later, you know, maybe, maybe I shouldn't do this. You know, even if, if we can touch one guy to stop yeah, it. Absolutely. And that's you the know? point of these conversations, right. right? Is to talk about stuff that's really difficult. And I know how hard this was for you because you keep a lot inside. Um, right. So thank you for sharing that with us. Well, well, you're welcome. And the thing is that I did work through all of this stuff. I was able to get past this and move on with my life. That's why it was such a shock watching this show to all of a sudden just be whoa, hit with these yeah. emotions and feelings. And wow, 40 years later. Yeah. Feelings crazy. are that proverbial onion, right? There's yeah, always something right. else there that you have to excavate and deal with. And, you know, I think the more we get healthy and the more we deal with our stuff, um, it, it, it makes us say, it, it makes us capable of going a little deeper the next time. And right. obviously that's what that was for you. And that's in the bigger picture, a great thing for you in your life. Right. Also, because then it made me want to speak out on this. And like I yeah. said, we need to talk about this. We need to keep having these conversations and maybe one person will hear us and that'll change somebody, you know, and that'll save some young, young guy waking up 40 years later going like, what the hell happened to me, yeah. you know? So, 
All right. Thank you, Michael, for allowing me to go through this whole journey with you. And for all of you, thank you for uh, listening. And for all of you men out there that I'm sending the side eye, please think before you act. Yeah. All right. See ya. See you guys. Thanks. Thanks.